Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to the very first episode of TA Thursday. My name is Randy. I'll be your host. I'll be your teacher. I'll be your mentor. I'll be whatever you want to call this thing. But every Thursday, I'm going to be giving you guys some interesting lessons on what is technical analysis. The basic fundamentals of technical analysis. Over the last 18 months, I've really taken the time to understand and learn. I've read little boring books like Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns by Thomas Bolkowski. I've taken a lot of time to really uh, educate myself on this because learning charts is fun. It's basically just an underlying psychological story of what's going on with price action. Is the price going up? Is the price going down? We all know that price just doesn't always go up. That's just not reality. And if you understand the, the psychological story that's being told behind the candlestick patterns and behind the, the, the story or the trend that's being laid out, you might be able to understand the next chapter. So that will provide really good entry points into getting in to where there's going to be a, a trend reversal going back to the upside, or maybe a chance to take a little bit of profits because or writing it down. We've all felt the joy of writing it up and we've all felt the pain of writing it down. And that is a real thing. Our brain runs on feel good and run from pain and going up feels good and going down hurts. We've all lived it. Even though it's this magic internet money, you still feel it in your soul. So anyways, you guys, through this course, what we are going to do is try to understand what is the basics. What is horizontal support and resistance lines? What are candlestick patterns? What is RSI? What is MACD? What is a lagging indicator and what is a proactive indicator? Um, what is exponential moving averages? How to set your exponential moving averages? What is the Fibonacci sequence? All of these things, I'm going to break it down for one 10 minute high energy easy to understand, impactful video. But you guys, today, I'm going to give you a little bit of, uh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of something. Don't worry, this isn't the educational video. I just want to show you how TA can be fun. It's like art. It's just your drawing. It's kind of your interpretation. And it's really cool if you can understand and you guess where the price is going to go to because probably going to make you more money in the long run. Um, keep in mind, you guys, this is obviously not financial advice. Anything I say here is for educational purposes only. Do as your choice. And to be perfectly honest, the way to make money in crypto is find a really good project, get in early, um, make sure they have good use case, good team, um, good integrity. They have a good vision. They have a good roadmap and get in early and buy and hold and take some profits on the way out. That's the best way to make money in crypto. And then when you're taking profits on the way out, buy it when it comes back down because it's going to go back down if you believe in the company. So anyways, you guys, this project right here is very, very dear to my soul. And it is called Phantasma. See, I did a little play on words. It's soul. Uh, and so this is my trading view, you guys. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you guys really quickly. Uh, I'm going to get into this. Uh, if we take a look. I'm going to draw and just, just hear me out. So I'm going to draw this. This is what we have. It's called an ascending channel. So the channel is going up as you guys can tell and keep in mind, this is all just kind of rough, right? So you can see it kind of hits, it touches, 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 it bounces. It has an idea and it's going to keep touching into the channel until it doesn't touch in the channel. And what happens? It came back down here. So if you're like, okay, cool. Well, I, I see it's going down. So now if we didn't know what that price was going to, we said, okay, right there, it just broke, broke below the channel. Where's our next step? What are we going to do? So what I do is I'm going to pick a horizontal line. So I'm going to pick where the price action went to on the top. And then I'm going to pick where the price action was on the bottom of this run up. This is what I would call a relevant range. So this is a relevant range of something to be kind of concerned. It doesn't matter what happened two years ago. This is we're worrying about what's going on right now. This is the story. So, this thing is called Fibonacci sequence. So what I would do is I would pull from the bottom to the top and I'm going to do something here. So I'm going to put my speed tool on. I'm going to go boom, 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 and boom. And then I'm going to take the speed tool off. Boof. So we didn't know what the future price was going to go to. So now if we go and we go magically into the future, what happened? The price came down and it went boom and hit there. And basically boom and it hit there. And it hit and it hit and it hit almost perfectly, like probably to the penny. And how? Why? Why does this work? How do we know where the price was going to go to? Well, we understand if it's going to go up, it's going to go down. And this golden ratio of life, this Fibonacci sequence, this is what institutional investors usually program their bots to buy and sell at. In a bull market, 
the price will come down and it'll usually be forced to buy at the 618 and it'll go boom. This is a psychological number, the 0.5. I'm going to get into this as the days, weeks, and months go along, but I'm just showing you guys this. So we had a good idea. This is what was going to go to. So we're like, huh, interesting. Well, if it's going to go down to there, now it's going to kind of play between ranges. So it's going to play between the ranges here. Okay, we get that. We understand this. So now if we understand this, but I want to take this little area of concern. So I'm going to show you guys. So if we look at how would we have been able to tell because we have the prices going from here to here and it's at the top. Well, you guys, there's a thing it's called RSI. So as you can see, the price is going more or less in the same range. Well, this little tool right here, it was created by a guy named J. Wellis Wilder. And J. Wellis Wilder, he said the best use for this indicator is to understand what is divergence. And divergence is the price and speed of price direct or the, the, the speed and, and measure of price direction. So as you guys can see, we're going back. The price was level, but if we go here, you can see it was going on a downtrend. So that means the price was slowing down. So as somebody that's been around technical analysis for a little while, if, if there was any point, I would kind of be keeping my alarms, keeping everything ready, keeping watching. But if you could see over this period that the price is slowing down, this would be a good time to maybe take a little bit of profits and you can buy some cheaper coins when it comes to the bottom. Because we knew RSI going down, what happened? Proof, price dropped off there. Interesting. So now we've already looked into the future. We already knew what it was going to go to. We could have got a bit of profits, bought a little more. We got to got a little more soul here. Now, there's another thing. So I'm going to clear this chart off. So let's go here. Let's start again. And, and keep in mind, you guys, so right now I'm looking at a one hour time frame. So all these represent a one hour uh, indi indicator. So now I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go trend line. I'm going to go I'm going to draw a line pretty much straight across. So we're going to go from here to about here. This is kind of where everything kind of hits realistically. Like I said, this is ballpark. Not, none of this is all rocket science. So I'm going to take from here, I'm going to draw a boof down to there. And then this is in this encyclopedia chart patterns. This is what's called an atom bottom. And then right here, we're going to go like this. This is called an Eve bottom. So this is where the price. So this is called an Adam and Eve bottom. I don't know why he named them that. It doesn't really matter. But if I go to go like this, now I take the measurement from here to here and I can get in statistics and I will as time gets along. But so if my measured move where I believe that once we broke out our next price direction is going to be going to around that $4.20 mark. Okay, so if we understand that this with the pattern trading is around four dollars and twenty cents, let's we'll use that as a number. Now I'm going to clear this chart off again. So remember when I talked about things calling relevant range. So as we had seen, I'm going to draw this horizontal line. I would call this a pretty relevant range. It hit here, it hit here, it hit here four times. I would call that relevant. And then if I go here, this is where the price went to. So this is kind of the interest or where the, the, the price action went to. So now I'm going to forward. So say we're going to go like this. This is our relevant range. Now for like, okay, well, if I understood what the price was going to come back to, what would the price go to in the future? So if I'm going to go like this, normally what happens is the price is going to go to the 127. It's going to go to the 141. And then it is going to go to the point two. So now, how does that? It just kind of works out. So now if we said, let's look into the future, where did the price come to? Boof, it hit the 1272. It got rejected. It came back down. It hit the 1272, got rejected. And then it's probably going to go back up to the two, which is around the $4.20 mark, or the right here. So the point two, it's going to be around the 415 to 4, 420. So anyways, you guys, 
This is just a little bit of insight. I believe the short-term price prediction for Phantasma and Sol is going to be around that 420 mark. But you guys, I believe, and we're not going to get into the fundamentals. I believe this is a great project. Do your own research. But I love teaching TA. I can't wait to bang these contents out, give you guys more and more content every single week, and make you guys understand how all this works. It's a little bit of fun. I'm going to teach you guys how to set your charts up, how to do everything. So you guys... Thank you so much for tuning into TA Thursdays. If you guys like, do all the good things, hit the likes and subscribe. And if you guys want to come back to the YouTube channel every single week, there's going to be more banging out content. But you guys, come just check out the TA thing. Learn a little bit of stuff. I make it fun. I make it exciting. And you'll learn a little bit of cool stuff. All right. Till then, till next Thursday, I'm out. Over. <laughs>